In this video, we're going to talk about how to convert a binary number into an octal number. So let's say if we have the number 110101, how can we convert that to an octal number? So what do you think we need to do? So what we need to do is separate this into two numbers in groups of three. So the first group of three, we have 1, 0, 1, and the second one is 1, 1, 0. Now, the first number has the value of 1. The second number, we need to multiply by 2, and the third by 4. So 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 2 is 2. 0 times 1 is 0. So all we're going to do is just add the 4 and the 2. And so that's going to give us 6. Here, we only need to add the 4 and the 1 because 1 times 4 is 4, the 1 times 1 is 1. And so this will add up to 5. So our answer is going to be 65. So that's how we can convert a binary number to an octal number. Now let's try another example. So let's say if we have the binary number 100111. Go ahead and convert it into an octal number. So first, let's separate it into groups of three. So for the first group of three, we have one, zero, zero. So everywhere there's a one, we're going to use the number that's associated with it. So the binary number one, zero, zero has the equivalent of being four. Now let's do the same thing for this one. So the number is 1, 1, 1. So because we have a 1 for each, we're going to use the 4, the 2, and the 1. 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 7. So we're going to read it this way. Our answer is 4, 7, or 47. So it's 47 in the octal system, which is a base 8 system. Now let's try a different example. So instead of having six binary numbers, what if we have seven binary numbers? How can we convert this into an octal number? So go ahead and try it. So once again, we're going to have, we're going to separate it into groups of three. So here's the first group of three, and here is the second. Now, because we don't have enough numbers to make another group of three, we're going to add two zeros. So it's going to be zero, zero, one. And then in blue, we have 1, 1, 1. And then in red, 1, 1, 0. So let's start with this example. So we have 4, 2, 1. And so this will have a value of 1. For the next one, it's 1, 1, 1. So we need to add up each number. We have a 1 associated with the 4, the 2, and the 1. 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 7. And for the next one, we have a 1 in front of the 4 and in front of the 2. So we're only going to add 4 plus 2, which is 6. And so you can see the answer. It's 176. And so that's it for this problem. Now, for the sake of practice, let's do one more example. So let's say we have the binary number 11011010. Go ahead and convert it into an octal number. Feel free to pause the video. So the first group of three is 0, 1, 0. And the second group of three is 0, 1, 1. And then the last one is 1, 1, but we're going to add a 0 to it. So it's 0, 1, 1, and then 0, 1, 1, and 0, 1, 0. So let me just color code it so you can see which one uh, matches. And so let's write the numbers 4, 2, 1. So everywhere there's a 1, add up that number. So we're going to add up one. I mean 2 and 1. So 2 plus 1 is 3. And here we're going to do the same thing. Here we only have a 2. So our answer is 3, 3, 2. Or 332 in the octal system. And so that's a very simple way in which 
you can convert a binary number into an octal number.